at all the snacks. Do you think that we're probably going to be able to put maybe two snacks in the bags even? Yes. Yeah, I agree. I think so. First, we're going to walk through, and my partners are going to pick one thing. The ISD does the Great Kindness Challenge every year at the end of January. So this year we tried really hard to come up with something, how we could help the community. We talked about making blessing bags for our homeless community. Our kids see a lot of homeless people in their neighborhoods and at the parks, and we really wanted them to be able to see how they could actually help. So you're going to take one chapstick, one mint, two gum, one hot hand. And we sent home notes home, and our families were really great. They all participated. We also had a Mill Creek Stampede dance and families brought in those things as their admission to the dance. Um, we collected them all and then sorted them for classrooms to have to be able to put together these bags. Students brought in protein snacks, gloves, mittens, hot hands, and thing, other things they thought that we could put in these bags. And we are partnering with Stone Church. Some different families and myself will be taking up the bags and passing them out to those people that are in need of those things. Peanut butter? Peanut butter. <laughs> I hope the kids learn about compassion and kindness and being able to help others. It doesn't necessarily have to be a big act of kindness that even the small things count and everything is like a domino effect. When they're kind, other people, it brightens their day and that they can be kind also. Get out of the